Okay, we're at a local golf course and we're going to do some carpet cleaning with the new Minimax. So because of the amount of food-based spills on this carpet, which are quite a bit and they're, they're quite deep in the carpet, I'm going to pre-spray um, with the Penguin Omegazyme down and let that start to break up the sugars and the different uh, elements of the food-based substances. And then deciding after I decide how that works, I might go with Radical Rinse and Nanomax or Omega Citrus and Nanomax through the Minimax to clean it. I will be using uh, the new Maldi brush. There's no more center hole and there's extra uh, hooks here so it does grip uh, the bonnets uh, better than the previous generation did. So I'm going to go over with the Maldi brush and then I may follow up with the brand new Iron Man bonnets, the second generation, uh, after that. So I'm going to pre-treat it now, let that sit for a little bit, and then let's see what uh, the chemicals give us. So normally I don't pre-treat when I run uh, the Minimax because it's spraying and I'm doing everything in one pass, but because of the depth and the amount of spots on this carpet and some of the unknown origins, I wanted to put the enzyme down first. So I sprayed this, let it sit. It's probably been about 12 minutes now. So I'm going to run the Minimax over it with the Maldi brush. I decided to go with Radical Rinse with a little bit of Oxyol uh, added to it. I did not add the uh, Nanomax to it. I don't think we're going to need it. So let's run it a little bit and see what we get. So I did about an eight foot wide path um, so I'm going to do a hard edge here and as you can see this is responding quite nicely so the chemistry does a, a big portion of the cleaning um, the multi brush is going to help agitate and help collect and then of course the Minimax is spraying and just doing a beautiful job of making everything else happen to collect that soil into the bonnets and uh, make this carpet look fantastic you can see this is pretty effortless, it's pretty quiet, and uh, it's a, a one-stop operation. Again, not knowing what some of these spots are, if I have to go back and do anything else to them, I will when I'm done. I'll evaluate after I finish this section. You can see this gets all the way up to the wall. I've got this uh, edger here, and it just gets right up to there all the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to switch this bonnet already and you don't even have to adjust your handle just push back that doesn't uh, spill we're going to disengage our bonnet which I'm sure is filthy oh that's pretty filthy we're going to flip her over I'm going to lay her back down and off we go again so we already have a pretty dramatic um, before and after So you can notice the blue lights coming on, not that you can't see the sprayer, uh, but you can definitely uh, tell with the blue lights that the machine's firing off, the pump's working, and uh, this couldn't, just couldn't do a nicer job right now. I'm very happy with the way this is happening. Now if you look at the uh, traffic lane going into the area where the girls work, where they hand out their ice cream uh, let's see what see what we get here and it's just cutting through that so easily this Maldi brush is just a fantastic tool to put onto your rotary machine let me get enough room where I can spin it around When it's bad like this, I do like to overlap by half just to make sure I'm getting good coverage and I'm not missing any portions of the carpet. And with the Oxy, uh, there's Oxy in the Radical Rinse and there is Oxy obviously in the Oxy All. This will continue to brighten as this dries and it'll look even better as it dries. The reason I'm going back and forth on this 
is because some of these spills are all the way back down to the, the backing of the carpet and I just want to make sure I get good uh, contact on them so we don't have any anything that comes back up and visits us and because this is so dirty I'm gonna run a full-size bonnet over this after a little bit just to collect anything that might come up again so we'll do the rest of the carpet now if we go over here we can see this is just really really bad but if we come to this side of the room come to this side of the room and we go back and look if we can zoom in there you just what a night and day before and after and I cut that so easily that's just a few minutes to go over it and we transformed the trash carpet into something very uh, pleasant to look at and it looks very careful even the even the traffic lane over here going into the hard surface is just brand new looking so look at this bonnet <laughs> that was a clean one and this one's just almost literally black so I'm going to do a little section without pre-treating some of these spots just with a radical rinse I put in uh, three ounces into this two and a half gallon container and I put in three or four ounces of uh, oxyol so let's see what this will do um, by itself without pre-treating. So I just did a little path beside it, but we'll go a little wider. And this is typically what you're going to do with the Minimax, is especially with the multi brush uh, on heavier soil. You're just it should be a one-step cleaning process. Whereas that's still cleaning the carpet and I didn't have to pre-treat it and I didn't have to use a fiber pad and then go back and use a bonnet. You could, but it doesn't mean you have to. So even without that, I got it just as clean as when I did when I pre-treated it. So still a fantastic job and just took me a few seconds to do that area there. It's important you get this centered just for the fact that it's going to want to flop on you a little bit if it isn't. Let's see if we can get this bad one out. Just makes it look easy, doesn't it? Now for carpets that aren't in bad shape like this, just think of how fast it'll be to go over those and get those ones clean. So if you're doing apartments or hallways or lobbies and you can do 2,000, 2,500 feet per hour and you're getting 10 cents a foot, that's $250 an hour at 2,500 feet. If you get 20 cents a foot, that's double that. Come back this way. Come back this way. The light's better. Now, even though this looks good, I'm still going to go over this quickly with uh, the 17 inch of full size drive because I'm still going to pull a lot of dirt off of this carpet and it's only going to take me a few seconds to go, go over it and do that. Now, I know I just sprayed that door, but. hard concentrating on the video and the driving at the same time. So
So we have about 25 minutes investment into this. This whole area is uh, done. I'm going to I'm going to flip to uh, the other pad drive real quick and show you how easy this is. So we'll tilt the machine back. The never spill feature will keep us from that's empty now. So that's going to want to come forward a little bit. Disengage the multi brush. We'll put on the pad drive that comes with the unit, which is a nice one inch bristle pad drive. We'll put down a full size Iron Man. Now we just went over it, and that bonnet is black. This is what a new one looks like. Lots of soil we collected. So let's put this up here and let's see what the full size bonnet picks up and how quickly we can do this room. It is now about two minutes after. Let's get that going and see how long it takes us to go over this. I'll flip the bonnet one time. And this is just so smooth, so quick. Put a little bit of fresh chemical down just to make sure everything's lubricated in case it started to dry. Also, the water is the carrying agent to pull the suspended soils into the bonnet. If it's too dry, that won't occur. You unplugged me. And this this will help even it out a little bit. If anything wanted to wick up, um, this will collect it. It'll take off another layer of soil. And this is just really fast and easy to do at this point in the process. Most of the time, you won't have to go over it a second time. But because of the soil level on this, I thought it was a good idea to do that. So let's take this off. See, that's black. I could probably go over this again at this point. Hit this other section. Pull that cord over a little bit, please. Since I know this bonnet's already going to be saturated, I am going to grab one more new one and do that little back corner and again that's just filthy dirty let's grab a new and everything just happens so quickly now there's some red dye stains here that would be a separate process that you would use bye bye red dye which will remove those synthetic colorations. The, uh, the sodium percarbonate or the peroxide will not do that. Um, the special chemistry in the Bye Bye Red dye will though, however. So there we go. So we have about four minutes to go over this area again. So I figure with the other side, which isn't as dirty, we have another half hour in that. So this job's about an hour uh, to restore a really nasty, filthy, dirty carpet into something that looks fantastic. Let's go, let's go down here and just see what it looks like this way because it's so much more dramatic. Come this way, come this way. And turn around and now you can really see the full impact of how dirty this was and how clean we made it in just just a half hour okay so just um, to recap 
with talking and setting up lights and moving things and refilling. It took about an hour and 15 minutes um, to do this job. We probably would have charged about 375 for that time. That would have been a healthy amount. Made a nice uh, improvement. There are a couple acid, uh, red acid dye spots that I would charge extra for if I was removing them. So we did pre-treat with Omega Zyme, although I don't know how much we actually needed to do that because some of the areas I went over with uh, responded well, but this did uh, reduce our cleaning time and made our passes over faster. Uh, so I ended up going with Radical Rinse and some Oxy Spotter, and if you look down at the Iron Man's, you can see that they are just filthy dirty, the Iron Man bonnets. So we pulled a lot of crud out of this carpet, and as you can see from the, the before and afters, Um, it just made a fantastic improvement. So thank you Minimax and Bonnet Pro Chemicals and we'll see you soon.